Alright All right, y'all, we are at Wadada's. Special shout out to Tunde's Thai tea. He only got two of them left. <laughs> that man's product moves, moves, moves. Alright, brother. So we're gonna be talking with this brother. We have an important question. And I'm really looking forward to get his answer. He looks very studious. <laughs> so we'll just be right here in the sun, brother man. About right here will be good. So if you can stand right here. Okay. And uh all right, cool. And shoot. There we go. All right. So the scenario is this: it's simple. So on the news, you know about the mass shoot. <clears throat> you know about the mass shootings, correct? Okay, so on the news they there are two groups of parties that count the number of mass shootings in 2022 they both have different numbers one group is very political driven and they're the group that the news uses to reference the amount of mass shootings that we've had that year this group for 2022 counted the number of mass shootings to be 228 the other side for that same year and I'm going to explain the scenario to him and I want to get his, his uh, feedback. And what is your name, sir? Lewis. His name is Lewis. My name is Akeem Bola. Okay. All right. So the other side counted the mass shootings for 2020 to be three that year. So here's what I did. I went to the list of all the 200 so-called 228 mass shootings and I went down the list. It took me a few hours and I went down each mass shooting and I looked at each one, the victims and where they were. And over 99% of them were based in the hood and there were black men shooting black men. So what we have here, we have a political system taking black on black crime, changing that word or that reality to something called mass shootings. And then we have a political structure using that data to then support their laws and support or bring up energy and cause friction amongst to, to get people to go out and vote. You know, that's what they did. The mass shooting, they didn't give any money to us yet. They used our death to promote their agenda. So they used our death to promote their agenda and they didn't give any money to us. So my question is, why why did they do that how does it keep happening to us and do you understand what i'm talking about overall as far as the different counting and stuff first of all <clears throat> tell me what, what do you define as a mass shooting i mean how many people is a mass shooting? right so there are it's debatable online there are two different two different sections we can google this right now if you want to yes what is the definition of a mass shooting And I love that you asked that question yeah. because that question got me to this because I didn't even like how they can you'll see <laughs> mass shooting is weird it's kind of like oh I'll just show you show you show you mass shooting definition so right now we're looking up the word mass shooting and I appreciate you Lewis because that's a good thing to ask some people just listen to me and they just give response brother Lewis here was like let's let's inquire a little further about all this okay Man, my phone acting up, my brother. Well, I'll tell you, my my phone's not is not going no to it. Problem. I'll tell you that it does not include death. Death doesn't have to be included in a mass shooting. Yes, yeah, so it's about they have it has to be more than three people. More than three people. Yes, more. It's either more than three or more than two, and you don't have to die. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, more, sir. More, more than three. More than two or three. I don't know if it's two or okay. three. We'll say three to okay. make it a little harder for my scenario. More than three people and then people, they do not have to die. Have to die. And that's, that's it. When they say, when they say this is, uh, in other words, this, you're saying that it's black, on, black people doing most of the mass shooting. Most of the mass shooting is, is, excuse my French, niggas killing niggas. You know, and I only say niggas killing niggas because that's exactly what the music is saying. And that's why I'm appalled by it because they could have given us money. All that mass shooting energy they were giving they didn't give any money to the hood where most of those shootings were happening. And then the worst thing is they use the example of mass shooting. What example of mass shooting did they use, Brother Lewis? They used the white boy. Well, when, well, when, I, think about, <laughs> when I think about mass shooting, yeah, I, please think about, talk. <laughs> I think about, I mean, I think about somebody just going and killing people for no reason. I mean, somebody like, I, I do. Like, um, what's his name to kill the people in the church? Um, Dylan Roof. Yeah, Dylan Roof. That, Somebody, anyway. I mean, that's what I, that's what I, 
Consider, or, or the guy that killed the people in, in, in New York in the, in the supermarket. In the supermarket. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's what, that's what I think about when you talk about mass shooting. That's what I when think about. Talking about people in the hood or whatever, killing somebody because of a love of And over 90% of mass shootings were in the hood. Yeah, but, uh, and but, only in the other side, they only counted three, and that's the side that I agree with. They don't. They have a whole different definition of mass shootings. Oh, I so what? And, and and guess who created the definition of mass shootings, brother? Media. Oh. When you research the, the the word mass shooting, there is a legal term uh, a legal terminology, and there is a terminology literally made by CNN and Fox, okay. and they are basically the same. So this is very much so agenda driven and, and you know, from your generation, what do you, I mean, what was going on in your time? How were y'all being taken advantage of? You know, cause now we being taken advantage of this way, it, to me it didn't stop. Oh, we, 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 I mean, we were taking, <laughs> taking advantage of uh, denying the right to vote. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't go anywhere you wanted to go. Oh, I mean, you know, right, 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 right. For your insurance and the, you know, your, your, your community would redline and all that, you had to pay more for insurance, all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, there were so many different ways you got taken advantage of. So, so how did it feel to live? Because I feel like I'm being taken advantage of everywhere, except it's quiet and it's not so intense down your throat, you know, and that, that creates other issues. But so, what about, yeah, go ahead. Most of the ways you get taken advantage of are in subtle ways. I mean, it's not in your face. It's real subtle. You know, like we were talking about, like I was talking about, or the red line of your other neighborhood. Yes. Paying more for your goods in your neighborhood than they, they do on, the other, on another side of town. All that kind of stuff. A lot of it is so subtle you don't even notice it right now. You know, so uh, a lot of it is in your face, in your face kind of taking advantage of you. Right. It's, not, you it's not happening. For instance, uh, have you ever read the book um, Breaking Rain? I can't remember the guy's name, the author's name. He's a white police. Mission. No, okay, I didn't watch it. Today. No, I have not. Okay, Breaking thing, rank. Broken rank. Breaking rank. Breaking rank. That's the name of the book. And after he wrote the book, he had to leave. He had to leave the United States because they were after him. He said, and, we, and this is a white police commissioner talking. Okay. Okay. And he said that he had been he had been a commis commissioner like like 30 years. Okay. And he said that the reason white police officers kill black men so fast is because they're scared of them. This is a, this is a white policeman said. The reason white police officers kill black men so fast is because they're scared of us. And so he talked about a lot of a lot of the things they do that's behind the scenes. You know, mm. some of the names they have for about for us I had never even heard of, like mm. Retuses. I, I didn't even I never even heard of. It. I mean, yeah. some of the, some of the things they did, some of the things they call us, I've never heard of. Yeah. So they don't respect the people that they're policing. Right. So I mean, how can you how can you be uh, non-partial if you don't like the people you police? But he said that's where, that's where the, 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 it stems from being from, from white fear from being being afraid of us. So if I'm afraid of you, how can I how can I be how can I treat you fairly? Right. You know I'm always on guard. You know the least move you make, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna do you in. Right. You know so it starts from a, a lot of it starts from fear. So let's go the opposite of fear. Let me ask you the question of if you could make one if you could make all of us do one thing that you think could be the solution for all of us. So. If, for an example, my one thing would be, okay, I will make every single person literally have to read Miseducation of a Negro, and if you don't read it, you don't get your tax return. <laughs> I don't know. What would be your, like, if you just had the power to just make everyone just move the way you wanted to for the betterment of us, what would be your, what would be your move that you would elicit? One, one, of, one of the moves I would make would be tell the truth about black history. Mm, like you just talked about Miseducation mm, of a Negro. Right. Like, like, for instance, I went and asked. Uh, I went and asked about 20 martyr bus drivers. Okay, uh, if they knew who Granville T. Woods was, and they said we don't know who he is. Hey, I don't know Granville, who that is. Granville T. Woods. E Educators. Granville T. Woods was an uh, electrical. He was an electrical engineer. Okay, from Columbus, Ohio. He invented the electric rail. He invented the third rail that the martyr train runs on. Okay, he also invented the induction telegraph. He had over 54 different inventions. Thomas Edison tried to get into work with him, but he wouldn't do it. Okay, and so I asked him. I said, "You out here driving the train? Don't you don't notice this is a black invention? Black people invented this. You know, if, if they would and tell we don't know it. No, it's so many things that they that they don't tell the truth about that uh, causes black people to disrespect themselves. Right. You know, and people don't. You know, they, they 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 say that we don't. You know, black people don't have it together. You know, we don't do this. We don't right. do that. But we don't get we don't get credit." 
for a lot of the things that we that we did, a lot of the good things right. we do now. And the minute we do something bad now, I mean, it's then blown they, up. Right. But a, a lot of the good things we do, we never hear about. It. Credit or payment, right? Only because did, did that man, how, how was, shouldn't he be being paid for the use of his technology right now? His family should. Right. And then my thing is, George Washington Carver made the peanut. Right. No, no, he, he, he George Washington Carver. Okay. George Washington Carver, what George Washington Carver did was he saved Southern agriculture. Saved okay, Southern what agriculture. Was, what happened was, um, they, uh, okay, let me explain this to you. Please. A cotton field or a lawn is a monoculture, okay? A monoculture, which means one crop, which never occurs in nature. That never occurs in nature. Oh, okay. Lawn started in Europe, okay? They started, I mean, it started in France, okay? And then they brought, brought them here. So what was happening was they were planting cotton in one spot, okay? And cotton is, is, is very nutrient intensive. So it, draw, it was killing the soil, drawing all the nutrients out of the soil, okay? So when George Washington Carver came, he saw that, and, and the boll weevil had taken over, and the boll weevil was destroying all the cotton crop. <laughs> so they didn't know what to do. So George Washington Carver came, and he explained to them that they were planting cotton in one spot, okay, and you, you're killing the soil because you're drawing all the nutrients out. So he explained to them that you, what you should do is you should rotate the crops. You should have peanuts here one year, have cotton here one year, have corn here one year have beans here one year mm. so you can replenish the soil mm. so you don't you don't deplete all the nutrients out right so they started crop rotation okay and that's what that's what saved the cotton patch and yeah. southern agriculture and so that, that never Dude. happened until george george washington carver came and explained to them what they were doing wrong wow so, so they really so, used us to advance themselves yeah, in so, every so way it's a lot it's a lot of things a lot of things like like they tell you that thomas Edison invented the light bulb he did he did. Tom Sutton did invent the light, invent the light bulb. Okay. But he didn't. He didn't, didn't invent the long-lasting light bulb. The one he, he invented. <laughs> the one he invented like only burned for like 15, 20 minutes. Louis Latimer. Little short ass. Louis Latimer, the black man. Louis Latimer. Louis Latimer, the black man, invented the long-lasting light. Bulb. The long-lasting light bulb. Right. Louis Latimer. Louis Latimer. L A T M I V E R. Louis Latimer. Latimer. Okay. So so many things like that we did that we don't get credit for. And so now that's the light, man. Yeah. So when you that's when, important. Yeah. So when when you when you when you when you when you talk about blacks, you always hear about all the negative things that black people did, but that's you don't right. you don't hear about all the wonderful things we did and we're still doing. It's still doing. And so we you know you, so you say that you know black people are just black people killing black people, and usually the reason why black people kill black people, one thing is about disrespect, frustration. You know, a lot, of, a lot of different reasons, you know, that right. black people kill black people. Right. Uh, out, out of frustration, disrespect, a lot of that. But, but we didn't teach each other, we didn't teach ourselves to disrespect us. You know, we were taught that, we were taught that by the oppressor. And I mean, right. we just continued it. Yeah, the Willie Lynch. I mean, we, 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 we continued it. But it's our fault that we can we continue to fall for the open You know, it's, it's, we can't blame everything on whites. Yeah, so right. Keep, that's dead. That's we, actually like right. detrimental to us yeah, to do you that. Keep blaming them, you keep blaming them, saying it's their fault. Their right. Fault. Sooner or later, you got to grow out of that. Yeah. Thing. Sooner or later, you got. To Sooner grow or later, you got to grow later. out of that. You know, so, uh, so, hopefully, hopefully that's man got what's it. happening. But I, you know, I'm glad you brought this up about the mass shooting because I had no idea that that's crazy, man. All of them saying that, you know, as far as I'm concerned, though, I mean, the way I was thinking. I was thinking that most of the mass shooting was, was being committed by white people because I don't connect. I don't consider. Uh, you hear that? That's why media is so dangerous. I don't. I don't consider when I see black people kill like three black people over, like I said, a double thing or an argument. I don't consider that a mass shooting. I mean, I don't. Nah, me either. Mass shooting is I'm crazy and I don't know what I'm doing and I'm just going. Yeah, uh, yeah. These are gang related. Yeah, yeah. Most of this is gang related activity. Yeah, so I don't, I don't really consider that a mass shooting. I mean, I don't. But, you got it. You yeah, got like it, brother Lewis. They, they're making their own definitions. Yes, sir. They're making their own definitions. It depends on who defining it. Right. And conspiracy was a word exactly. written by, or made by J. Edgar Hoover. The word conspiracy was made by J. Edgar Hoover. So I just want to say to rebuttal, yeah, own definitions, own words. Brother Lewis, thank you for your time. All right. Thank you so much. Are you here often? Yeah. Okay. Here. All right. I'll come to you here sometime. sometime All right. I'll probably see you then. Okay, then. Yes, sir. You about to play? Huh? You about to play? Oh, uh, I didn't bring my chair. Yo, yo, yo. Hold on. <laughs> Make sure everything good. What's up, everybody? We are High Heaven Smoke Shop. Now, y'all have heard me talk about this place before. 
black owned, family owned. I got the nasty there. Now these nasties are special, okay? These nasties got the maroon spirit. And I've alluded to maroon spirit plenty of times. It's basically this QR code, save the bottle, scan the QR code, give your anonymous data. Let us start collecting data so we can protect ourselves from the things that are coming. There are things coming, all types of things, and we must, we must see them before they arrive. And that is the aim. So your anonymous data will be collected and analyzed by holistic doctors. So this is what we doing. And you can pick your bottle up at High Heaven Smoke Shop. And these bottles also come with a one-on-one, well not one-on-one group meditation. So these bottles are powerful. They're way more than just a lemonade, way more than the CBD. They're way more than the Moringa, Ashwagandha, Holy Basil, Kamu Kamu, the antioxidants, anti-inflammation. It's way more than immune boosting. It's way more than preventing ocular sclerosis. This is basically us defending ourselves against an environment that wants to take from us and doesn't want to give anything back. So come to High Heaven Smoke Shop, become a part of the future. Make sure you shake it up. Look at that. Ooh -wee. Yeah. Tap in, y'all. Nasty Lemonade with Maroon Spirit is here, present, and beautiful. Yeah, wait. <laughs> All you gotta do is just look in that screen and make sure I'm in that middle. Okay, got you. Let me move, okay? I don't Oh no, okay. And that's why it's only looking at me and then I'm gonna only look at him. So yeah, nobody gonna right. be on camera besides me and Robert. Yeah. How y'all doing today? Yeah. Mm. So this is called Nasty Lemonade. It's my product. It's in a few stores. It's a holistic lemonade. It's really, really healthy. It has vitamin C, ashwagandha, moringa, and it's infused with CBD. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna hook Robert up. With okay. Thank you so much. Yes, man. Yes, we gotta be healthy no matter, you know, right. everybody gotta be healthy. Health, health, right. health, health should be for everybody. Right, right, yes, sir. So that's for you, brother. All right, so thank you. Let me you. take that. And now just pull that gold off. All right. To, that's for the center, you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna catch your first sip. <laughs> okay. Mm. All right. So this is turmeric, ginger, and rosemary is a flavor. Flavor. Turmeric. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah, turmeric, ginger, rosemary. Okay. We got brother Robert right here. I know what it is. Alright, yes, got ma'am. Good for your throat too. I'll make sure I, I, I might bring a few more and just some cups and, and get some for everybody. Okay. I got you, I got you. Put me on that big too. Ah, this is good. <laughs> my mom's recipe. My mom made this, not okay. me. Okay. I gotta tell people it's not my recipe. I don't I don't cook. That's not what I do. Okay. I'm just a filmmaker and I, I'm a community man. Mm -hmm. I got you, I got you. I I didn't know y'all like lemonade. Yeah, good too. Yeah. Alright, Robert. So can I ask you a few questions? Yes, and the question's gonna be short. It's gonna take as long as it takes you to finish that or less, okay? I'm finished with this. Yeah. <laughs> so look. Tell me your name. Your name is Robert. Robert When's, Ware. Robert Ware. Ware. And when? W A R E. W A R E. When's your birthday, Robert? Four seven fifty eight. Four seven fifty eight. Yes, sir. Hey, April twenty fourth. So we got some April people up in here. <laughs> so y'all, April twenty fourth. All right, let me write that down. So April fourth. April seven. April seven. So April okay, 7th. okay, okay, okay. Four seven fifty eight. Now, how, how how old are you gonna be when you turn? I'll be fifty five years old. Fifty. I mean, oh man, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll be sixty five. Oh, you know him? So y'all friends? Yeah. Right, so. That's what's up. Right, uh-huh. 59? You don't look 59. You look like you 39. Okay. Yeah, I'll be Man, look at your skin. Man, y'all look good. Y'all like, thank man, y'all look good. Thank you. You <laughs> got some good skin. Yes, sir, thank you. Yes, sir. All right, Robert. Say what? Ginger is good for you. Now tell me, tell me a, tell me a story of your life, Robert. Maybe tell me something. Tell me a story that represents maybe the best, the best part of your character. You know, I'll give an example. Maybe no, no, no. I mean, yeah, I'll give an example. You know, some one time I helped somebody who uh, got their iPad stolen. I don't know. A random story. One time I helped a dog who got hit by a car. Just tell me a story that represents a good character of you. We're going to get a little personal, a little deeper, you know. Yeah, yeah. I want to start with the positive, though. I want to start with the light. We all got light and dark in us. We right. I want to hear your light, Robert. Okay, well, my, 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 my best thing in my life is, was my mother. And mm. She died 
Before she died, I took care of her, you know. I took care of her, I bathed her and put her clothes on and stuff. And I, one day I got up to go to work. I was working right there at Big Bell over there. And I got up to go to the work. And she, I told her I was finna go and she said, lock the door. And when I got back, got up, I got up and locked the door. Then I told her, I said, I was gone. And when I got back to Lee, I, I, said, I told my mother, I said, I'm gone. And, when I, and she never did respond back to me. And when I turned back around to go see what was wrong, she was gone. She was already gone. I'll show you. Yes, sir. And you were taking care of her. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I work with uh, I, at my clinic. We deal with elder, you know, elderly. It's not easy to take care of people. People, right? It's not easy. It's so that's not. an example of your character because yes, you sir. sacrifice your time, you yes. sacrifice your energy to right. take care of the woman who birthed you. You birthed me. So right. that's that's beautiful, man. Yes, sir. Man, take a sip, brother. Please take a sip on that. <laughs> Say it again, Queen. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know, we talked about, you gave me a story of light. Maybe give me a story where you had to persevere. You had to get through something tough. You know, you obviously, mm -hmm. the, the toughest thing really ain't went through real, nothing real tough because really, I do things for my mother, and I do like my mother asked me to do. So really, I, don't, I, don't, I ain't really had no hard time or nothing like that, but I had had a hard time, but I was a kid then, I was a kid. And, uh, but now, since I don't got grown, I used to smoke dope. I ain't smoke no more of that. Since my mother told me, my mother told me, uh, I went in the house one day, I was high as hell. I was high, I ain't gonna lie. Thank I was you for high. being honest. And, uh, that makes it strong. And I went home that day, my mama looked at me, she said, boy, she said, what's your eyes doing so red? I said, my eyes ain't red. She said, I'm gonna tell you one thing. She said, if you don't stop, somebody gonna kill you, or you gonna get them be behind bar for the rest of your life. I went in the bathroom and looked in the mirror at myself. Man, I was so scared. My eyes were red as fire. They were red as hell. And I ain't smoked no dope, no more dope for five or three years. About three years, yes sir. Yes sir, I ain't smoke none. I don't even smoke weed. Um, you don't smoke weed? I don't smoke weed. You drinking weed. Oh, okay. Well, hey, drink. Well, I drink bring a bill. That, hey, hey, that's, but, we all got our thing. thing you right. staying away from the, from the, from the big one, big though. One. From the yes, devil sir. one. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm staying the one from my big one, too. Okay. Yeah, we all got our big one that we staying away big from. Brown, and that's right. what we got to be proud of. Proud of right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. So. <laughs> I ain't smoke none, I ain't, I don't do drugs, I don't do nothing but drink beer yes, sir. smoke my cigarette yes, sir. when I have a chance. Yes, sir. Know? But really, I need to leave the cigarettes alone. I know. I used to smoke cigarettes. I'm uh, okay. I'm, I'm sober off of cigarettes, going uh, probably about a week and a half, man. Okay. Yeah. So, so you know you gotta stop smoking. Yes, it's sir. hard though. It's yeah. hard. You ain't lying. It's hard. It's hard. Be hard. Be it's hard. hard. It's hard. It's it, it's it's step step by step, and you know right. we, we try every day. Yes, sir. And yeah, and we don't beat ourselves up when we can't. Can't. Right. You know? Yes, sir. So, uh, now. Let me be get a little personal with you. Are you out here? Where, where is your? What are you? Are you in shelter? What are you doing? What, what, what's your situation? I'm sleeping outside. How how is that? Well, what is that like? Well, it, Cause these it, people don't know. Right. It's it real rough. It's rough. But well, I don't pay. I really don't pay no attention. Cause when I leave, I come up here. I go down there where I go go to sleep at. I make it. I make it my business, you know. So I just go down and lay my stuff down and. I said to myself when I go down there. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it, it rough. It rough living outside. Yes. It rough. It rough. Now, the cold was just here. How did y'all, what, what were you doing and was cold, man? I wrapped up. <laughs> I wrapped up. I ain't gonna lie to you. I no, I'm, I'm impressed. It's like, I mean, I'm not, it's it's impressed. It's because it was so cold. cold. So, so right. you was out here, it was mine, huh? Right. Yes, sir. Because yes, even sir. though you wrapped up, it, it right. wasn't, right. it was cold. It was cold. It was cold. So, so. Yeah. Keep talking. You wrapped up? I wrapped up real good. I kept my coat on. I kept my clothes on and stuff. 
But other than that, other than that, I've, I've been pretty good. Okay. You try to go to sleep, you know, go and go to sleep. So. Go and go to sleep and then it's, you're yeah, good. So I'm good. Copy yes, that. Now, when it comes yes, to the hot, what do you got to look for? What What's the what's the safety thing with hot? Is there anything you got to... I go down here where I go down on the pool down there or either go down to the park, sit down there where it's shady, you know, sit in the shade, you know, where I can get a, a little, a good breeze. Right. But other than that, I'm okay though. Okay. I'm okay. Okay. I know, I know, I'm, 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 I'm saying I'm okay, but I know I'm not okay. But I used to have a good life when I was coming up. You, you accept it. In your past, you saying coming up, you had a good life. Good life. Yes, sir. So you, so you, you, you happy about that, and you have gratitude for that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. And I used to own uh, 13 domains. 13, say it again for the people. Doma. Domans? Doma. Doma. Okay. The dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I on 13 on. Uh. 13. 13 So uh. you must have been pushing them. I was pushing them. <laughs> and uh, they was a good dog, but they mind me. I sat down, I took, I took, I took a time, you know, took a lot of time with the dog. Yeah. They never did bother me or nothing. Got and you. A lot of people always talking about, damn, yeah, man, you got all them dogs, them dogs gonna turn on you. I said, I ain't worried about that. I said, I know them dogs, you don't know them. Mm. And they mind me very well. So is that the thing with dogs? You don't got to really worry about them, but you know them. I know them. I know them. Yes, sir. That's good to know. Yep. Because 13 is uh, a lot, man. It's a lot. <laughs> 13 is <laughs> a lot of dogs. It's a lot, right. Yes, sir. Are you the only 101 dogs, man. <laughs> uh -huh. Are you the only 13 Dover and one German Shepherd? Wow. Yes, sir. Wow, wow, wow. So you was moving that. I was moving that. Yes, sir. All right. Well, please, I don't want to get to, I want to get one when you take <laughs> Please, please enjoy right, it. Take yes a sip. Yes, I got a uh, one more final like wrap up kind of theme of a question, and that's gonna be, you know, what you want to do in the future. Well, what I want, which do, is the present, you know, I'm just asking. Yes, what sir, you thinking what about? What I want to do in the future, I want to get me a place where I can come out of these streets. That's yes, sir. One. Yes, sir. One. Yes, sir. Like, where I can come out of the street, you know. But other than that, I ain't worried about it cause it, one day it gonna happen. It gonna happen. Yes, sir. And I hope it happen real soon. Yes, sir. I hope it happens real soon. Do you have anything lined up? Are you talking? You know, sometimes they help people out. Like what, what's the, what's well, what's going I, on out I, here with support I, from the government? Well, well, with that, it's it real good. That's okay, real good, 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 yes, good, good, uh -huh. good, good. All right, so it's a matter of time, then. Yes, sir. It's a matter of time. Right, there you go. You gonna be off? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, it's matter so. of time, and it's gonna be quick time. We gonna play. Right. We gonna play for that quick time. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> so when I get my money coming next month, I get it next week. I'm going to rent me a hotel room, man. Yeah. We're going to have that for a whole month. Yeah. I'm going to me a whole month. Yeah, when just I enjoy. Said, when I get up and leave that around here, I'm gone. Yeah, I'm yeah, gone. yeah. Right. But I let somebody out here know that I'm, where I'm going, you right, know. Right, right. But I know he'll keep it to himself. Right. But other than that, and other than that, I'm, I'm feeling good. I ain't, ain't going to lie to you. Yes. I'm feeling good, but I know I'm going to hurry. It, I'm hurting somewhere in my heart. Yes. But other than that, man, I'm just ready to get out this street. <laughs> right. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Right, right, right. Well, you going to go, brother. I know What's it. Up? I know it. When I when I saw you, I just was driving by, man. You had a glow about you. I was like, I got to stop by. Some of, you know, I got to I got to ask you if I can capture you, capture your, your energy and your your What's power up? and your essence. Uh -huh. So, I would like to continue following you, continue re reaching out to you. You know, if I have an extra lemonade, I'll, I'll drop one, you know, some off. I'm going to come by and give lemonade to the brother and to the sister. So I'll be back, man. Yes, sir. Uh, I appreciate you being open and willing to give your, your story. And I look forward to hearing more about you yes, and knowing sir. more. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes sir. So I also want to, you know, and now now we're going to wrap it up. Now we're going to wrap it up. Tell me, you tell me, you tell me what's that. You were the person I needed the most. You were the person I needed the most. You was the person I needed the most. I hated you most. I hated you worst. Yeah. Baby girl, I just wanna make you my girl. Yeah. Come in my world, I'm holding you down. Yeah. Baby girl, yeah, I want the crown. Foot in the ground, stuffing on hoes. Yeah. Baby girl, I got the flow. I want my growth. T H R R I L. Baby girl, I got the doom. I got the mmm mmm <laughs> when I'm come through. Baby girl, I want some you. I want to. Uh, uh, you got the point, here's my point, that period word, no more discussion, baby girl come in my room, we bout to uh, uh, we bout to bust some <laughs> things away.